President Obama is dead set on allowing the tax cuts for American families who make over $250,000 a year to expire. But what does that mean for small business owners? Will that jack up their taxes as well? And could it ultimately put them out of business and the cost to you? Joining us for a small business panel is Michael Levy. He's the owner of EmotionFrames.com. Andrew Hemingway, owner of Hemingway Consulting Services Group. And Eric Cohen, owner of Benefit Quest Insurance. Good morning to all three of you. Thank you. Good morning, Good morning. Uh, So, Michael, let me start with you. You are a small business owner. I see some of your, uh, well, you have some of your frames that you brought to me. Thank you very much. You've just started out. I know that you say that you're um, not up to the $250,000 level yet, right? Yes, that is correct. So how would this tax cut then, or not being able to have the tax cut, affect you as a small business owner? Well, the first thing it does, it doesn't give me incentive uh, to make a higher profit for my company. Uh, we've actually, uh, over the past couple of years, due to the bad economy, have gone from 13 down to two employees, and it's, it's, it's been a very tough go of it. And for us to restart our business and get back up to where we have to go, we have very little incentive to hire new employees to help us build our business back to the higher level that we used to be at. Uh -huh. Andrew, you say that these people making over $250,000 a year, these are not the uber wealthy in our society, right? Well, that's exactly right. You know, uh, a great majority of these individuals making over 250000 are actually small business owners, and their business income counts as their personal income. And so this is Main Street businesses. We're talking about your insurance agent, you know, on, on, on Main Street. We're talking about dentists, doctors, local businesses that are affecting Main Street. So for, you know, President Obama to say, that he's trying to encourage uh, job growth, trying to encourage uh, Main Street businesses. Well, one of the best ways to do that is to extend these, these tax cuts and allow those individuals who are making over 250000 who are employing individuals, uh, greater ability to hire more people and to grow their businesses. Eric, you uh, run an insurance agency. I mean, wouldn't it, wouldn't it seem as if uh, the president would want to be in favor of creating more jobs in this economy right now? What's your take on it? Definitely. It's so difficult. Uh, in the last two years, we've had a recession. A lot of the companies that I work with are having trouble uh, paying uh, these, uh, these insurance rates, these high insurance rates, um, a lot of extra expenses. Uh, it's, I, I'm shocked that uh, we're not concentrating on job creations. So, Michael, as, as a startup business, how will this affect your outlook on whether or not you will hire more people? Because the president right now needs you to hire more people. Will you? I would love to, but to be perfectly honest, I had a meeting with my insurance broker last week who discussed my uh, health insurance premiums for the year coming up, which has gone up another 10% like it does every year. The, he told me point blank, do not hire more people. It'll cost you too much money. Wow. Andrew, are you hearing the same thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, what we need as small business owners is some stability. We need to be able to project into the, into the next couple of years what our earnings are going to be, what our expenses are going to be, and it's absolutely impossible. I mean, this health care legislation that was passed was promised 1 to 2 percent increases by President Obama, and we're seeing, just like uh, Michael there, we're seeing 10, 20 percent increases across the board. Mm -hmm. And it's impossible for us to be able to predict, to say, hey, this is what our expenses are going to be, and so given that, I can afford afford to hire somebody or you know we need to make changes and right. given the current uh, no, we I don't just mean to cut you off. Finish your point. Right. What you're saying is no. you can't, you can't okay. do it. And you're talking about health insurance, and if you would all stick around, I want to delve into that a little deeper when we return, because tax increases aren't the only threat to small business owners. There's also health care reform. 